Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocklover, and thank you for rejoining me here in TWR, the Thousand Week Reich, in which we are playing Germany with the Fat Man in control. So, the first thing you might say, Mr. Mocklover, or Herr Mocklover, what, why do you have so many divisions at the bottom? Well, that might be because I restarted the campaign again, because guess what, there was another update, and the time that I'm recording this, there actually might be another update after that, but I'm not going to update this game or this campaign anymore, because... This is literally the third time I've restarted this, this campaign already, so I'm, I'm kind of done restarting the campaign. We kept up with Prussian traditions. I just started that. We basically are where we would be at at the end of last episode. We have Odenstadt Burgund here. Uh, Ukraine is lost. Muscovine is lost. Caucasus is lost. Socialist, Federative Socialist Republic. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. That is not ideal. Oh, they're Stalinist. But they have unique focus tree. Ooh. Okay, you know, they might be communist, but at least they have unique focus tree. We can get, we can go along with that. Please just... So, let me introduce you to this world. We still have the anti-German coalition. We still have Ostland for now. Uh, there was a comment from yesterday detailing that the Finns and the Stonians don't really share a similar language. Um, and that was just a, like a event that was just kind of there in the game. It was okay, but that actually didn't pop up this time. Um, let's see. Uh, we still have Turkey here. We have the United Arab Kingdoms. Uh, the Greater Arab Republic isn't here, but the United Arab Kingdom is. The union between was it Iraq and Jordan. And um, we're still a little too early in this video for me to tell you what the state this is. But they were very aggressive and took out Lebanon. I think a place like Golan Heights... Can I say that? I don't know, whatever. Uh, Golden Heights is here, but they were very, very aggressive over here. Holy crap. I'm not sure what, what they were doing, but... <sighs> David Ben-Gurion? Son, why did you take out Beirut? I think I don't think they were doing anything there, but then we have all this again. And actually, we have the West African Federation once again. Uh, Metropolitan Terror Tax, you know, whatever. Who cares? Hello, who are you? Gerard Congo Wedraogo. That's kind of cool. Also, we have a new leader in the United States. This time, it's Mac Daddy. I did not know he looked like that when he was old. He's like a Republican, and he's 49 versus 51%. An economic miracle with rocket artillery. And Canada's led by this dude. I have no idea who this is. Um, anything else that's really changed? Well, we don't have a French Republic. We actually have a French state still under Charles Nouguez, even though he looks very similar to Patan, just because of his hat, probably. But we've got MGs. Uh, obviously, since I've had to restart the campaign again, it's almost 54. Okay. Um... Things have been going okay. Uh, there, I had the update. Okay, so if you don't know, on my channel, for at least my Steam account, whenever I record stuff, I usually leave my game or my account offline just in case updates happen. But I wanted to see if they were going to fix any bugs. And they sort of did fix a few issues. The developers did. Um, regarding uh, well, TNL. Uh, maybe because of Mountaineers. Maybe. maybe not. Uh, let's see. Like the Finnish Estonian issue wasn't present there. Uh, the Norwegian event wasn't there again. However, when I got the fat man back in control, which I'll address in just a little bit, when I gave Himmler, or gave the, Himmler the option to form Burgund, it said when I took that decision, that by giving Himmler Burgundy, or Burgund, that I avoided the German Civil War, which didn't happen in yesterday's video. We didn't get that option. We just gave him Burgundy, and it said, oh, okay, whatever. But when I did it this time, it actually said, hey, because he did this, there will be no civil war. Or at least that's what it said. I could be wrong. But uh, that's actually really cool. I'm like, okay, at least it tells you that there's going to be no civil war since we handed over control of Burgundy. Hopefully it can deal with the French state. French state gives them problems. And we still have gotten land down here, which actually still owns Zaporozhye, as well as Kherson, Kherson, and the USSR is still here. Led by Zhukov still. So at least that's kind of similar to yesterday's. We still have these guys, Chiang Kai-shek, and we still have Yum! Mr. Yum! Mr. Yum leads Mongolia. Uh, so, a comment from yesterday that was kind of addressed in a couple of other comments. Uh, Herman Goring. Someone wants to call him the Fat Controller. So We all call him the Fat Man. Why do we call him the Fat Man? Besides, he's a dictator. Because he's a, f a really large dude. Like, if you see pictures of him in real life, he is a chunky dude. Especially near the end of the war. Oh my goodness, he is... And he's also a substance abuser. He likes his drugs, so... He's a thick, chubby guy. But we just finished off Prussian Traditions. Off screen, I accidentally clicked on People's Will earlier. So if you want to read about that focus, people always love Goring. Um, it just gave you more stability and manpower. That's pretty much it. And we were doing back in control. So we're going to go back and do this so we can reunite the Ruckus Commissar. Yeah, uh, you know what? Let's not do this one. We'll leave this one for later. Just because, as we saw in yesterday's video, it's going to require political power and uh, 
uh, political power isn't something that we really have, so we might as well not do it yet, because that'd just be a waste of time. We could get more stability, but New Age of Progress, the power. I'm going to go with Eternal Reich's, Reich's Commandant. To ensure the continued loyalty, growth, and success, Goring must take direct command of all military assets, and all major decisions must lie in his hands before they go through. It's not very much more political power, but if you could get that done earlier, obviously you get more, and we really, really, really need to get out of this deficit of minus over a thousand PP. Now, unfortunately, like I said yesterday, we can't send volunteers to these nations, which is incredibly disappointing. If I could have, we could have saved Muscovine, we could have saved other places. Ah, uh, see, they demand in Estonia, there you go. I guess this bug is still in the game or whatever. Neighbors to the north have a demand to make it as it seems. They demanded to see Estonia as they see it, a rightful part of Finnish territories, speaking the same language, sharing similar traditions, and a Nordic identity. If we refuse, they have promised to take action over or refuse to comply. What should we do? Uh, see it anyways? No. No. Sorry, we got, we got big plans for Laban's realm. Also, like I said earlier, uh, this time with these soldiers, I did not put them on the border between us and the USSR. Oh, man, we left you guys to die, didn't we? Jesus, that's so bad of us. That's not even a core state. Oh, my goodness. Court martial on wheels, criminal suicide squads, Slavic labor, work or fight, 16 hour. Shnikes! 16 hour shifts! Every other man a rifle. Oh. All materials for defense, food at. Oh, Jesus Christ, that's terrible. Um, regardless, uh, I did not send them over here. I kept them down near Italy and Hungary. So we saw these divisions. Even though this time I could not edit any of the divisions, they are all the division templates that we began with two years ago. Terror attacks, just let time go on. It doesn't really matter. I don't really care. But at least the mod is functioning. The campaign is going. We're not getting nearly as many events now that we have Goring in charge. And we'll see what happens. If I can, my goal is to at least reunite all the Reichskommissariats and probably smash the Soviet Union if I can. See what happens. I have, I really don't know what's going to happen. India looks like a kind of a mess. Um, we have Burma. Where's Bangladesh? Uh, maybe they haven't been released yet. Cool. Sheet metal receivers. Also, I want to show you something here. This is actually really cool. Can you see this nuclear and advanced weapons? This is something that I think it was from Old World Blues or something. I'm not really sure. I always see it in Old World Blues. But we have missile technology. We can unlock a new generation of missiles. I've already done atomic research. Uh, let's see, nuclear ship reactor, that's kind of cool. Let's research speed, actually. A nuclear reactor, which doesn't make any sense, but that's unlocked. That's locked. Uh, we're doing G-series uh, already, so, but let's try biological weapons institution. Even though we we'll lose research speed, we one of the darkest corners of modern warfare. But we can get 4% more for human experiments, and then weaponized diseases. I don't know if that's going to really affect us, but I'm actually I'm glad I looked around the technology tree, because that actually looks really, really cool. I love biological weapons. Anti-tank 3, great. Alright, 40, 54. Um, over here, we pretty much did everything else again. Let's see, we could do that stuff. I think I'm going with base strike doctrine. I've done this, oh, this is like the fifth time I've done this. Which one, which one did I go down? I can't even remember, man. I, I'll be honest, I can't even remember. Ground support, more soft attack. Division speed breakthrough, marines are nice. We're not going to use them that much, though. Uh, leg infantry, at this point... Hmm... Organization. Uh, I want to go with this side because I'm going to use a lot of support equipment. And these are uh, mm, these are exclusive to each other. Ground support, ground support, recon, line attack, tanks, more soft attack, more breakthrough for the leg infantry might be really worth it. Oh man, I'm sorry that I have to figure out. I, I definitely did not choose asymmetric warfare. Actually, you know what? Let's choose something else first, and then we'll look at our focus tree to see if we get any benefits to anything that we choose. Uh, I'll go ahead and choose this one because we have to redo all this stuff again. Whatever it is, what it is. I don't really care at this point. Uh, military stuff. So, Gross Deutsches here. Expand Officer Corps. Uh, we already read this every single time. The Heroes Memorial Day. Glory to the heroes. Great. For the old generals. For the old guard. German Germanic military traditions. Fund the research divisions. Traditional warfare. That looks pretty good. Specialist training. Not bad. Increasing the numbers. Not bad. Not great. Uh, let's see. Improve war production. Great. Metropolitan terror attacks. God dang. Again. Shadow divisions. Huh. Cool, let's go ahead and get back over here. New Age of Progress. Symbol of Greatness. More war support. The SS. More, they get more political power. Confidence government. The trustee system. Less political power, but more national socialist drift. Consolidation of power. Oh, we removed the great power struggle. What is that? SS infighting. Overgrown officer corps. Economic stagnation. Cult to personality. Heroes Day. Oh, that's not bad to get rid of. That would help our stability and political power. So that's not too bad. Goebbels advice. We want to get Goebbels advice eventually. We need to do that one as well. Daily political power gain, plus point one. Hands-off approach. Change because it's a government type. Public funding. 
uh, improve the public agencies. Attention to the public. But we can't do economic policies or any of this military stuff just yet. So I kind of like any more political power, maybe. Let's see, one. Well, we need one, two, three. To get here, we need one, two, three, four. Is it four down here? Yeah, that's going to require even more. So let's go with the power. Uh, Hitler's rule was full of cronyism, and it shows now that he is gone. Incompetent political appointments were breaking down. To say that they have no skills in the profession would be accurate, but to say they have no influence would be a blatant lie. We must either cast them out or win them over. And either way, we must reorganize their offices. At least we're minus 900-something. Crush? Oh, look at that! The country's been haunted by Swiss terrorism. End of the terror cells. That seems like a good thing to do. And we have, now we have diplomatic actions which, in which, if we have enough infantry equipment... We can send them to our little puppets and stuff. Send German support. Uh, Borgund, less resistance targets. Treaty of Honolulu. The desire for Japanese freedom has finally been hurt. A new nation enters a stage. Full Japanese sovereignty. Huh. Ending the occupation. There goes the Soviet Union. Oh, I thought the Treaty of Honolulu, I thought they took over that place. Okay, so Japan is free now. Japan is a free elf. Free elf. I don't know, unfair, oh, unfair treaties. Well, what do you expect when you go bonsai, man? Ease supply issues, base strike, nice. Even though hopefully we don't have to use our navy too much. Uh, we still need to check out other things around here. Tank-wise, let's just make sure we get rudimentary composite ceramics. Let's make sure we just improve our, a our APCs as best we possibly can. And let's continue looking around here for bonuses to land doctrine. There's land doctrine right there. Heroes Day is gone. If their effects. Division. It looks like we should really emphasize armor, which I would like to. But it doesn't look like Darlan elected president. Oh my goodness. Oh boy. Combat ready. So, Auburn Grand Officer Corps will be gone. Britain stands victorious in Malaya. Again. Attempted terrorist attack. Okay, cool. Well, it's good that it was attempted and not actually succeeded through. So, it looks like we can go down whatever land doctrine that we want. So, here I am struggling again, trying to figure out what it is. And I apologize for this. I think I went strategic theorem. You get more soft attack. Mayday. Thank you, workers. I love the workers. Defense organization. Uh, tanks get more breakthrough, which is okay. Industry. Don't really care about that side. You get more population, which is nice. But do you get any more breakthrough here? You get 10%. Here, let's go off breakthrough. We get 10%, I think, in total. Is it really just 10%? Over here, you get how much percentage? And to the terror cells. With our counter-terrorist operations, we've successfully ended the Swiss resistance in the main regions of Germany. While we can not wipe out the Swiss resistance in Switzerland, the leaderships of Swiss resistance in Germany have been arrested and executed. Hopefully publicly. I like that more soft attack. That's okay. We got only 10% here, it looks like. 10% on that left side. Yeah, I don't know, man. The power. More soft attack. Ah, screw it. I'm going to go this side, just because we can. All right. Uh, New Age of Prosperity, Man of the People. Oh, Handling the Addiction. Stability, War Support, National Socialist Drift. We did take Goebbels aside and ask if he wanted to become part of us, so that'd be good. Culturally Related Decisions, Stability, War Support, that's not bad. Unlocks the Military Tree, oh. That would be bad to do, but we got other things to do right now, so. And we need the New Age of Progress, we gotta do this one. The old ways through the Reich, uh, fine for the past years, but if our beloved fatherland is to survive it, it must change with the times. A mass revitalization of the industry. Oh, the Angolan War, hello. Uh, oh, hello. Uh, careful lax in censorship, and loosening up social laws are needed to progress. Very cool. The Angolan War. Africa has a voice. Let's go ahead and grab... Let's start doing this one. I'm just going to do this side. Combine operations. That's fine. Uh, fine gay. Let's be certain the Republic as the opposition. Oh, she is in. He's in. Uh, wait, oh, is that Ireland? Oh, is that Ireland? No, that's Richard. Mulcahy. Darlan. He's headstrong. Republic of the Peton. Okay, cool. Weekly stability. That's pretty nice for you. Weekly war support. That's pretty good. Burgundy. Oh. Mm, mm. Strengeheim. Wait, do you actually have a unique focus tree? I thought yesterday we saw that you did not. I guess I guess you do still have a unique focus tree. I thought was the, when it says American Designs, I'm like, huh. Why, why would you choose American Designs over European Designs? And most likely it would be our Designs if you chose the European ones. Why would you not choose Lightning War? Okay, whatever. I guess I'm not really going to question it too much. Whatever. Go figure. <laughs> so another comment from yesterday. Stated, or oh, Beriatia, huh? Uh, oh, I like this nation a lot, actually. Uh, let's see. What's the love? 
It, he almost has my name. What the heck? Via Cheslov, Mocha Love, er. Okay, I gotta play as this nation then someday. I'm not sure what to say. That I really don't. I'm not sure what to say to that. Okay, cool. Yeah, I found part of my name in the game. Go figure. I didn't think. I guess technically, I forget. Russian in Russian, Mocha is like something. I forget what it is. Um, regardless, that's actually really cool. And the reason I bring that up is uh, the same day I uh, upload this video, I might be playing this nation in, in another mod. Just saying. Just saying. You know, you never know. You never know. Maybe, maybe not. Cool. But the reason why. Oh, look at this. I actually have a. It says, like, it was, it was yesterday, heavy cruiser, but it's really a light cruiser because I updated these these designs. So, uh, you guys were right there because we don't have enough screens. The reason why I updated my Steam account um, so I could get the updates. Besides the updates, I actually downloaded another game that I'll bring on the channel, hopefully very, very soon. The GDP seems like it's gone up a little bit more, which is good. But, uh, actually, it's right behind us, they are. Uh, yeah, there's another game that I want to feature on the channel eventually, which might come out soon-ish. Actually, by the time I record this, it's already out and downloaded, so. Uh, many of the people, National Socialism with goal ring characteristics. The system as it is is decadent, impractical, and corrupted. There's no way the right can survive it is not changed, and so change it will. We will do it. We will cut down the ideological dogma and un unnecessary bureaucracy at its roots and make a more practical system from its timbers. Now, from what I've heard, this goal ring route is very similar to some guy named Dang in our timeline, China, like People's Republic of China, like he's trying to actually goring is trying to make germany feasible at least more more reformed more feasible more you know appropriate i guess you could say uh, i don't know everything about this guy named dang here but he sounds like a very very interesting guy autonomous state of tibet wow um so we're trying to do the best we can hollowing out our government and making it better for as many people as possible who is this in here the young russian Com committee well, the bunch of national socialists, surrounded by socialists and literal revolutionary communists, as well as socialists, that does not look very good for us. It looks like we're going to take out the uh, East once again. The Mediterranean back to still there. We still have the Toronto Accords. Uh, it's interesting that Japan, even though they're fully free and all, they're still not in our faction, or or at least not our faction, but America's faction. Social Democrats, post-war economic development, unfair treaties again. Industrial limitations, left-wing agitation, better defeat. Well, yeah, it's a better defeat. What do you expect? G-Series, very cool. We can get some protective stances. What does that do? Uh, counters can use gas attack. I like this. Let's get this. Use Was this Victoria 2? Can we use gas? That'd be awesome. Also, one thing I did notice here. So, oh, China withdraws from Vietnam. Interesting. They suffered a humiliating defeat from the hands of the Chinese. Or the Vietnamese. Wow. Uh, Vietnamese, you don't mess with those farmers, man. They they are something fierce. 54. Cool. Let's see. Uh, we could do that. Let's go. We are doing that already. We can't get down here because that's literally 15 years ahead of time. So that'd be kind of a waste. Over here, that'd be 5 years ahead of time. Uh, I guess just do some more of this, maybe. Yeah, why not? Oh, we can get some helicopter support. You know what? Maybe we'll get some helicopter... Eh, we'll do some hospitals first. It's not like we have run out of things to research. But carrier planes. See, now, I have here... Jet Fighter 1s. Why is it Jet Fighter 1s over there? Carrier cast. So you can have interwar or, you know, World War II types of carrier planes. Or you can choose jet cast. Well, let's look at the carrier cast. This is carrier cast. This is from the war. Junkers 187 C. That's how you pronounce it. So you see the stats. 14.5... 29, 14.529, when you come to carrier fighters from our modern age of 54, Generalissimo and House Arrest from China, uh, cool. So 14.529 versus 23.15.30, so that's, this is definitely better. The range is 1400 and at max speed of 1000 kilometers per hour, while the speed here is, let's see, carrier fighters, a little bit less than half. So. The upgrades by using jet engines is hopefully quite quite good. Hopefully. They are much more expensive to handle, but that's kind of okay. Uh, for now, we can get more stability. I kind of do the man of the people we, in which we do get more stability. So, Goring has already been, has been seen as down-to-earth by the average German. He came to prominence in the Great War after taking command of the Jag, Jagdschwader Eins after the famed fighter ace Manfred von Richthofen was shot down, and since then has only continued to grow higher up in the ranks of the Reich. To many from... 
To many, this from Rags to Reichsfuhrer has made many citizens from the lower classes seem as one of their own, and has presented Gold Ring with a masterful opportunity. He has a very large, if ignorant, power base to bring him even more legitimacy to pull on. Uh, handling the addiction which should be good. And also, what type of English men handle this? Reichsfuhrer? Since when do we in Germania do not use the umlaut? Why the E? Italy breaks back. We, we read this yesterday. If we want to read that, go right ahead. What was Italy thinking? Let's be real, they weren't. Benito here, well, he's getting old. He's, at this point, if this is, would be a real timeline, he would definitely be much more down his path to vegetarianism, probably. Even if he won the war. Even if they did win the war, he'd probably be... He might be a vegetarian still. Division organization, less recruitable population. How are they doing? A bloodless coup in China. Oh, crap. Chen Cheng mobilizes troops in new era. Uh, well, that's not bad for manpower. They are on, on limited conscription. That's not bad. Bundle of sticks. Uh, they have a little bit of navy. They don't have that many carriers, but neither do we. Hunt. We can still agree on hunting the reds, but, you know. Luxury. Oh, what is that? A luxury hotels in Cree? Hmm. You got casinos there? Do I should I open a casino up? Maybe I should. Rule with an oh iron fist. Hunt the reds. That's not bad. Unrest in northern Italy increases. The Asian proletarian fr Shh, Nikes. The Socialist Republic of Vietnam has announced a new initiative. Interesting. Keep the Pact of Steel. Well, they don't want that. Break the Pact of Steel. They'll de definitely do that. Grant autonomy to Tyrol. Continue Italianization. Ooh. Italianize them. I gotta play as Italy sometime. I really do. Republic of China. Are you led by the Chang? No, you're still Chen Chang. <clears throat> and you have Tibet as them. Oh, look, that's kind of a nice hat. Or uniform. Wow. Uh, do you still have uh, Chinese rebels here? Or I guess not Chinese. You're all Chinese there. Left wing crackdown, yeah, like communist rebels. Man of the people, handling the addiction. As a paramount leader of Germany, Goring Self is a major contributing factor for the inspiring trust. A healthy leader means a healthy nation, as some might thought. However, hiding in the privacy of his manner, Goring's addiction is regularly... Oh, I didn't pause it. What the heck? My bad. Um, regularly appeased by doses of morphine. Some of Goring's daring advisors have suggested a drastic shift for his private life, strongly encouraging the leader to try his best to fight off the addiction, and even become a more charming leader for the people of Germany. Try to get rid of the addiction. I see no problem with, it, with the addiction. I swear, I can stop whenever I want. This is this is not an addiction. We're gonna get rid of it. Uh, let's go ahead and choose. We can't choose that. I don't care about infantry fighting vehicles. I think they're kind of a waste right now. Let's go choose this one first. Mm, Goebbels' advice: stability, war support, AI modifier, national socialism drift. I mean, we're already pretty good for national socialism stuff right now. So, uh, let's see. We can't do that. We need more than any political power. Let's do man of culture. Why not? Though we've proven our race the best. We are the best at warfare, technology, and manufacturing. People know little of the joys we hold it culturally. Our film industry is nothing more than propaganda. Our art is under constant scrutiny by censorship bureau, and the music is the same as the films. For all of our greatness, we are viewed as dull people and the eccentric goring has had enough. We must undergo a renaissance to show the world how creative the Aryan mind truly is. To do this, we will create subsidies for art, movies, and music, and relax censorship on said materials. Relax censorships? Whoa. Whoa. That doesn't sound very Nazi-like you. I'm not even sure I'm going to even use these uh, signal companies, but we'll see what happens. Whatever can benefit Goring is the best for Germany. If he wants to collect more art pieces and take them away from people he might have gotten rid of, that's okay, right? Very good. Oh, and slowly, slowly, the Red Giant continues to move east. Empowering honor back in control. We can wait on that. Let's go and empower honor. So the Wehrmacht has become increasingly burdened by the disease of idleness. The men are unmotivated. The lower ranks of officers are inexperienced, and the upper epilogues have been stacked with political appointees. Aside from a costly purge, we have another option, and that is simply to give men incentives to fight. Lowering qualifications for medals, higher pay, and more leave would most certainly be adequate to make sure that the men are willing to fight. We need stability more support, even though we don't really need this stability. It's always nice to have. Don't get me wrong, but mm, I think we'll be okay. What is our deficit of things like? Because we've only been talking about stuff so far. What is our... Oh, my finger's bleeding. Oh. Um, stockpile like. Actually, it's not that bad. We need a little bit more stability. Uh, or stability. Artillery, I mean. Main battle tanks we need a little bit more of, which actually isn't too bad. Motorized we could use some, a little more of, as well as medium tanks, but eventually I do want to get rid of those medium tanks, so that's not really a concern of mine. Armory interoperability. So we get more organization and better reinforce rate. Not bad, not bad. And right now we currently get 2.3 political power day. Obviously, n never enough for a true Fuhrer. 
but yeah, I, I, I don't understand. Like, how did Israel take out Lebanon? Like, bruh. Look at all this resistance down here. Actually, how did this state even come about? Hmm. Wait. Oh, this is a member state of the Confederal Districts. He's not... Cannot be... Oh, wait, they're a puppet. Toronto Court Support, of course. Ayla. Okay. Monthly population. Oh, that's probably the one where the, all the Jews, like, come to Israel. They can get citizenship. And, uh, growing up... Yeah, people have escaped Europe and settled here. It's kind of cool. Uh, let's see. Another division. Great. Another person we can help train. And what else do they have? They have defense of the Jewish nation. Wow, that's pretty good. Plus 20% attack and defense on their territory. Mapai dominated politics. Whatever. Uh, and they still have a... I hope someday they get a unique focus tree. That'd be really cool. That'd be very, very cool. Uh, a royal tour. I gotta play this, this nation as well. A United Arab Kingdom. I guess it's kind of a generic focus tree, but they have this little Iraqi politics type of stuff. The dual state. Empowering honor. And we have some field hospitals. Great! Let's go ahead and do the Medal of Goring. Always a prideful man, Herman Goring wears his various medals with pride, and people love it! These medals symbolize a rise from poverty to the greatest office in the Reich, and he wishes to share his pride. As such, he wishes to hold an annual event where he televised, gives multiple awards to the greatest individuals the Reich has to offer. So a bunch of generals, gangs politically connected, gets on a skill level, get more war support, unlocks a military tree. Who could be upset with that? Someone would. Someone, somewhere. Uh, very good, very good, very good. Alright. It's January 23rd, 1955, my friends. I hope you're having a great year, but it's time to, for us to do more, how shall we say, industrial research. When it time comes along, and even though we still can't build anything, it is with a heavy heart we still cannot build a single thing. Other base construction? Well, keep it up, guys. They're doing pretty darn well. Uh, hey, look at that. The Favalon stands. I'm glad that they did not stand alone. Maintain public order. Orders, orders from Germania. Commissar. Wait, Commissar. Um, how did you... Accelerated Germanization. Commissar. Ukrainian preservation. Oh. Estonians are Aryans. Salvation to natives. The Rosenberg question. I wish you could see that. So they went with continuing previous policies. Okay, cool. Hopefully I can integrate them into my country then. If they're German, Germany's lapdog, land grants to Germans, Commissar Losha, Losse. That's really cool. I hope we can integrate them. But first we must do industrial stuff. Uh, oh, we can do engineering stuff. So industrial stuff. Max factories and state, better repair speed, building stuff up. Mutual exclusive decisions for improving decentralization. Huh. This is different. <clears throat> more vulnerability, more, more factories in a state. Less factories. Uh, ooh, I don't know which one to choose, man. You know what? Let me know in the comments below. Should I go with concentrated industry for core industrial areas, or should I go with a more dispersed industry? Because there's differences. You can improve decentralization, or you can improve core industrial areas. Let me know which one should I take. Because I, I, I'm not really sure which one to take. This seems both very good. I don't like having more factory bomb vulnerability, but I don't know, man. This seems. Kind of interesting. I kind of like it. I kind of like that there's finally options about how your industry should operate. That's actually really cool. Uh, regardless, uh, let's go ahead and choose for this one. Factory output, 10% cap, or tension, 5% cap. 5% base 5%, growth by 10%. I like more cap. Cap is always good in my mind. If you can get more cap, the better. 10% cap, 5% cap. Let's go with mass production. I prefer batch production sometimes, but let's go with that one. Good. This is... I like that the devs have done a little bit more than what, you know, the actual Hoi 4 devs have done. Because it makes, just makes it a little more interesting here. Uh, let's grab Construction 2, because we can always use Construction 2. Always use it. Even though... Seeing this red number hurts me emotionally, mentally, spiritually, physically. Ooh, look at this. Huh. His branch of uh, National Socialism is unique. In attempt of de-radicalizing some aspects of the ideology, except, like advocating for peace while subtly against military expansion against civilized peoples. Supports reforms in some areas of the nation. Yeah, George is getting attacked. Goring's version maintains a strong cult's personality of both Hitler and Goring, pushing for the idea of duty and honor. Huh. Okay, justify World War Times win at war with a major. Okay. And we have Heroes Memorial Day again. Cool. Glory to the heroes. I really hope we can expand here. 
I think the next focus will be uh, not, well, I mean, probably not military stuff. Economic policies would be really nice. Public funding. We're going to get down somewhere here, I think. Yeah, right here. Uh, growth switch is here. Do we really need to do that one? Not really. Cool. We'll go back in control. So, we read this yesterday. If you want to read this, go right ahead. We already read this yesterday, so I don't have, think I really need to read it again. Bring me the contact list. I have a few meetings to arrange to reunite the Rex Commissar's uh, decisions, which I think will be a great thing because we got to get some action going. Like we said earlier, our soldiers, they have, they've not really been in the fight for a long time. And this might provoke a war against the Soviet Republic of the Ukraine, the Moscow Red Army. I kind of hope they can go to war with the USSR and want to do their own thing, but we'll see what happens. Definitely, definitely, definitely see what happens. Because they don't like each other that much for form military structure. Kind of a generic focus tree. Yeah, there's definitely de generic here. Generico. The seven C's? Oh, polio vaccine? Hold on. Declared safe. Okay. Dr. John's Jonas Salk's vaccines uses a killed version of the virus. A true victory for all of humanity. Great. Openness. Effective bureaucracy. How are they going down here? Refined government. Ensured rule. Minimal interaction. Ideological crusade. For the greater good. Why we fight. Deterrence. Huh. That's cool. And also, hopefully we're making some tanks here as well. That'd be kind of good. Mayday. Of course, thank you, workers. Hey, look at that. Look how much political power. We actually got rid of this. Open the Goring Museum. We get more stability. Fighting the addiction. Oh, boy. Oh, we can construct a chemical back. Camp. You know what? We already don't have civilian factories to use, so... The rules of warfare are constantly updating with the technological advancements. Elements such as chemical, biological, nuclear warfare are now major factors in this new age of modern war. We'll not exactly welcome and accept it by the public. It's our duty to at least keep ourselves informed of these destructive weapons of war. Cool. Let's go and grab this too. Uh, if you wanted to read about that one, go right here. Military construction too. It's hard to read, like, military factory construction speed line for that's, that's pretty difficult to read, I'll be honest. I could probably change the text eventually. Um... I kind of want to open the museum. While Germany is certain that Goring is taking these actions with the best interest of people in mind, these actions might also have the side effect of benefiting Goring one way or another. Uh, cool. So the Karen Hall holds dozens of priceless artifacts, and Goring always planned to construct a museum on this location. Huh. Fighting the addiction? We'll do that next. Let's open the museum. That sounds like fun. I like museums. You can make more money that way, right? Send some German support to different places. Well... I don't know, man. I think we're kind of okay. Actually, uh, you, to the Ukraine, Muscovine, Caucasus. I don't think that's going to work right now for some of these. And let's try to fight the addiction. We're going to lose political power, but we have a 40% chance of being addiction-free. But we had a 40% chance yesterday of Borman succeeding, and every single time I wanted Borman to lose, he won. So let's see what happens. we got to wait two weeks. No. A month. we got to wait a month. Okay. That seems pretty crummy, but whatever. 1.8 political power date. That's still not bad. What are my carriers doing? Uh, two more light cruisers. Thank you very much. Go home and repair, guys. It's okay. Back in control? Great. We have the political power for two for the most part. Let's get Gribble's advice, maybe? Well, wait. Symbols of greatness. The Reich has thrived time and time again, but we must prop up this image as the last bastion of Western values in an ever-degenerate world. Oh, degenerates. Symbol of greatness. We'll get down here. Gribble's advice. We need more political power to do this. Russian Republic declared war in Beratia. Buryatia. And then we can do Gross Twitches here, but we can do eventually. The Goring Gallery has accumulated dozens of art pieces from all across Europe since the start of Germany's conquest. While Goring had plans to construct a museum, those plans were ultimately delayed due to political and economic turbulence of the Reich. However, since Goring's successful accession to power, these plans were restarted. Demonstrating his generosity, the Goring Gallery is finally open, where the public can occasionally visit on a specific t at specific times to witness the cultural superiority of the Reich and of Hohmann Goring. There's a lot of art. Hmm. Now, we could do all this stuff. But honestly, I think we can kind of wait. This doesn't seem too demanding right now. High Seas Fleet, I mean, sub-attack. We're not hopefully going to get into war anytime soon. Well, I kind of hope we do go to war, actually. Ooh. That technology, 1960s carrier hole. I like that. But, ASW tech. Uh, a massive... Oh, that'd be good. A massive navy is not bad to have. It's really not bad to have at all. Addiction free... Oh! There we go! Somehow, Goring has successfully overcame his drug addiction. See, 40% chance has a win like 80% of the time, maybe. Ordering his doctors to burn the remaining morphine stash, wiping the memories of an addicted past behind. While this glorious battle will not be reported to the public, Hubbin Goring will certainly enjoy the fruits of the success very well. I can't believe the fat man actually did that. 
And oh, we can also invade Norway because they did not go with Quisling. They went with a resistance council. Which sounds like if we invade them, mm, they could maybe get propped up by the US. I don't know. Uh, regardless. Oh, we can actually go to we can actually have a good time. We can actually get army XP. Oh, I need my bread basket. I need my bread basket, son. Actually, I'm gonna concentrate forces in the north. Hopefully no one cares that we're gonna invade the Ukraine. It's it's our proper territory. We want it fair and square. Italy, you better not get involved, or I'm gonna call your dad, call your mom. I don't know. We'll see what happens. And also, all these guys have uh, planes on them, so I made sure that we did that because it took forever to do. Uh, it took a little bit of time earlier, which was really, really, really annoying when you do this four times. <sighs> four times, man, four times. Let's see. Crush the Soviet Republic of Ukraine. Active for 15, 15 days when removed. Again, it's war goal. Let's go and do that. Public exhibition. For 30 days to get more political power and get more stability that we don't need. I think that would be a great thing. Show the world what is going on in Brest Litauish. Even though you're the Soviet Republic of... Ah, uh, I know. Oh, no, no, no. Why? <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Hold on. Hold. hold. Oh, we gotta hold. We gotta hold the phone. Um, I gotta... Oh, we have no friends at the phone. Oh, that's not good. Mm-hmm. Well, then. I... <laughs> I was not expecting the USSR to annex those both the states immediately. Um. Hmm. Hmm. How strong are they? The opening of Gotland International. German engineering is to the extreme. Gotland is constructed one of the biggest airports in Europe, using thousands of manpower to accomplish a task. This airport seeks to handle all of Gotland's future needs for air transportation. And Heydrich has declared this airport as Pearl of the Germans on the coast of the Black Sea. The actual cost of this airport is unknown. Some estimate claim that Gotland has used millions of Reichsmarks while sacrificing hundreds of German workers in the process. What an airport. Okay, so navy they're, they're garbage. Militarily, they're not that impressive. They have a crap ton of manpower. Like, don't get me wrong. Oh, God, what the garbage. I just want to show off my art. Crush Swiss Terrace, we already did that, so that's good. Propaganda efforts, nothing here. Construction 2, very bueno, my friends. Uh, go and grab that. We will probably need more extraction as well, especially for fuel. So, and we need more rubber, that's not good. I'm not sure what's going to happen here. This might fire off another civil war, but you know what? We'll see what happens if I can go to war. This might be a really bad idea, though. Hands off approach, changes the government type. Wait, hands-off approach. laissez fair. Wait, what? Trustee system. Political power. N more natural socialism. The Schutzstaffel in Burgundy. Uh, we've got to get to public funding, so let's go and do that. So, what has an iron-fisted rule brought to us? Ruin and collapse. Sure, we could continue to waste money on monitoring every single person in the Reich, but how How about we take a step back? Why don't we... We don't need to control everything, actually. And trying is just showing the futility of it. Oh, man, I am... Mm, we got the clams against these guys, but okay, so we can't actually go fight them yet. Oh, they actually have a war goal against the. Mm. The Young Russian. Mm, young Russian Committee. Oh, uh, why? Why? I just want to kill off these guys. Why? It can only be gained from national focuses. Why? Oh, uh, well, it looks like I can get, get more political power so I can go this way. Focusing eastward? Peace was never an option. The de escalation. Diplomatic ties. American German relationship is mending. Improved relations. Peace in our time. Focusing eastward. United against communism. Yeah, I think I have to go that way. Why? Why do you hurt me? Uh, we can still invade Norway, which is actually kind of cool. You know what? God dang it, we have to do that instead. Uh, do we just go to war? We can... Let's get the war goal against them. I think that'd be for the best. Yeah, and then maybe do some more chemical research, even though we get more research speed, which is not bad. Chemical protection is very good. Let's grab some uh, some of this. Aerosols. Pretty good. I love the artillery attack. Better... Hey, we got a tank division. Even though it's not ideal, I'd still take it. Um, hmm. Well, if that's the case. <sighs> that's really disappointing. I just wish they did not annex those guys. Why did they annex them? Why must you break my heart and annex those people I wanted to take out? Ugh. Let's see, how, how bad is your naval invasion? Amphibious, 40, Jesus Christ, 40%. You guys, your naval invasion is slightly, just almost exactly the same. APCs. Okay, so you guys are probably going to invade first. Alright, let's see what we can do with this. Because I don't want to invade Sweden. Because I can't. So... 
How strong is the army here? 26,000, 11 divisions. Benier Division. They have no anti tank, so we should do okay. We, we gotta move fast, though. Alright. I'm gonna assume we can only invade 10 at a time, so that'll be fine. Come to Oslo. And we're gonna do our best to invade there. Arhus. Hopefully we can do well here. If not, that's why I'm only sitting in the APCs. Let's see, let's go over here. Invasion abilities, yep, I knew it, only 10. So be it, whatever. That is all we really need. 1v1, you're probably not gonna win, but we'll see what happens. Oh, the Mediterranean Union, okay, cool, interesting. If you'd like to read about that, go right on ahead. Uh, I guess I could throw you guys right there, actually. Interesting. Rome. Mass production, good. Giving up a war again, 1960s. Yeah, let me know which one I should take, because we got other stuff I'm sure we could do right now anyways. Uh, let's see. Naval Doctrine. We can keep doing this. Carrier Organization. We might as well carry our primacy. That'd be pretty good. Uh, yeah, that's really, that's so disappointing. I was so close. Wait, fighting the Addiction. Uh, we already, we've, we've already done with the Addiction. And he's trying to lose weight probably too, since he said he wanted to. And it'd be good for his people. Hold on. The Taranian Pact. Taranian? Tirana Pact. Hoxa. Okay. Okay. Sure, why not? Why not? Let them play their little games, see what happens, you know. Alright, clinical research. Crush these guys. I mean, you might as well. What else am I going to do? We can't even use our factories yet. I mean, I'll probably... Oh my gosh, 720! Jesus Christ! That's so high! That's, that's worse than 270 from the other day. Whatever. It is what it is. Hands-off approach. Public funding next. Our schools, hospitals, and other public utilities are critically underfunded. We should inject some cash into our public utilities. So we lose consumer goods factories, which means nothing gets stability and more multi-population, which is... Well, it's okay. Alright. Let us go ahead and uh, have a good time. Having two here should be good enough. We're good to go. Go to war. Uh, harsh import tax. Protectionism. Do they even need focus tree? Uh, kind of. On the right side here. National Assembly crumbled. Norwegian junta, junta coup? Purge Norwegian officials. Reinforce. Oh, ending the crisis. Declare neutrality. Oh. Well, hopefully this doesn't spawn a global conflict. So we have the Danish state, Slovak, Gotland, Banat, Burgund, Osland. Oh boy. Wait, what, what happened over here? Oh, our ships are things... Hmm. We don't have that much fuel. Just go home, everyone. I don't know why some of you guys are not out there yet, or in the water. Oh, we're out of... Yeah, get some artillery from those guys. That'd be good. That'd be very good. Artillery, can't do anything there. Armor, we can't really do anything either. It's going to be years before we can actually use that stuff. Get some better flamethrowers, I guess. That'd be fine. Come on, guys. Hope you can go and do well. Oh, wait, you're still moving. Oh, shnikes. I should not have done that. It's all right. It's all right. Y'all take forever, though, to move. I'll be honest, man. Y'all take forever. Well, at least we hope we get some sort of conflict by the end of this video. Please and thank you. Oh, and we get some uh, stuff from our guys. Nice. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. All this extra stuff will be necessary. All super necessary. So we'll attack in a few seconds. All right, so just drop it. Just go. Get there. Go, 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 go. Get, the, get there. Speed my speedy boys. Go, go, go. And uh, not three seconds. Three. Two-ish. Two-ish seconds. Oh, they're almost there. Three, two, one. Let's go ahead and see what happens. What do we have over here? Region-wide integration might not be bad. Chemical research, diplomatic actions, yeah, grand ambitions, uh, public exhibition. We don't really need that, so. Oh, actually, that could give us more. How much would that give us? Quite a bit more. That's fine. Go ahead and do that one too, because we can. There we go. All right, they're trying to attack us. Are we winning the invasion? The fight? Oh, we definitely will now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. If we can, try to cut them off. Cut off Oslo. Oh, they're done. They're completely done now. Throw everyone here. And just go all the way as high as you possibly can. Go, 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 go. Expand, expand, expand. Don't lose the port, though. God dang it. Don't lose the flipping port. Hopefully, we can get there in time. 
Okay, so they're all coming in. It's all gonna ruin. <laughs> it might have been a bad idea. They're gonna ruin the supply in here. That's okay. If we can move fast enough, we'll do okay though. Now you thought Blitzkrieg was over by uh, World War II? I don't think so, son. Let me see. Can we? Can we? Hmm. Public funding, great, great. Economic policies, trustee system. Yeah, we can probably do that. So, it's quite simple that you show us so we can trust you, and if you have proven such, we will. Why waste time watching the citizens we know are loyal when there are actual subversive elements that require our attention? Good point. Memorial Day, great. Remember that push. More research speed, we could do. Effect when removed. What else am I going to do with political power right now? Oh, God, we gotta get this. We gotta get this one. We have to get this one to get some more supplies through here. Hey, you know what? At least we're getting some army XP, which is amazing. Finally, we're getting some army XP. Look how much political power we have. I love it. Reunite. Nope. Army interoperability. Great. Let's grab some support companies, some more soft attack and organization from support companies, which is awesome, even though I don't fully understand how it works. It doesn't matter. Uh, how many men have we lost? 7,000 versus 17? Eh, could have been better. Guderian was wounded. Unfortunate. Uh, we're led by Rommel here. It is what it is. These aren't the best visions. Okay, Russia, you want to send me divisions or equipment? So, I mean, Slovak Republic. Slovak. Okay, close enough. Cool. Very good. Uh, let's come over here. And actually, let's get some uh, helicopters. Why not? Fuck Angelis fa 223. Uh, just come up to here. Thradheim. That'll help out supplies. How many divisions do they have? 13. They actually have 13. Eh, I'm not too worried about it. Even though our supplies aren't great here, it's it'll not be that bad. State of Armenia, of course. Come on! Oh, they actually defeated us there. That's not good. How much more manpower do they have? They must be running out. Should should they? They have, they, they have much left. That's good. If we just get to Thrandheim or Thrandheim, they might be able to capitulate. Maybe, maybe. Come to Narvik. I want to end episode once we take out Norway. That'd be kind of nice. Hey, look. Surrounded, and you're dying. I like it. Oh, we need to get Barrigan as well. I'm gonna have to get rid of it. There. Yeah, throwing all these guys up here was probably not a good idea, but whatever. Whatever. Come on, come on. Trusty system? Good. Oh, we can't do that one yet. We gotta do... Burgundy. Ooh, revisit. Yeah. Revisit Operation Reinhard. The system established in the Von Sea Conference is proving to become unsustainable. In our attempts to answer the question of genetic adversaries, we've created a bloated program that ma burns manpower, time, and money. Pretty much. Pretty much. Come on, get to Bergen. We have to get Bergen. Oh, if you wanted to read that too. Um, there you go. Right here. Carrier task forces. Yeah, you know what? Since we're here, we might as well do another one as well. Uh, convoy escorts, we might as well do that, so. Okay, they just leave. Why not? All this does is help out our supply issues. So, happy 1966. Great year. Oh, crap. Ah, uh, someone was wounded, so be it. So be it. Whatever. Just take whatever supplies we can get. Maogon Papers. Oh, boy. Documents regarding Chinese espionage on American soil have been released. Oh, boy. Well, that's not good. Oh, crap. That's not good either. Come on. How have you, how's Norway not capitulated yet? They are literally 97% of the way there. Please, kill them off. They're gonna kill off my tank division, which I don't see some of these divisions honestly need to be killed off. They're not really that good. That's why that's why I was fine destroying them yesterday. Because some of these are just not very good, man. Anything else here? Chemical research, you might as well. I know I can do this stuff. Oh, I already grabbed one company. Let's see. Uh, I want to deal with this a little bit. You know what? We'll probably raise up our mobilization level. Chinese American Cold War. Former allies turn against one another? Cool. I kind of like that idea. Come on. We probably don't. Have... Oh, the Russian Republic. Oh, come on. Come on. 99% of the way there. We're super close. And we did it, my friends. We shall take all states. Thank you very much. And hopefully we will release a Reichskommissariat. Where is it? Occupation Norway. Oh, direct rule. Once a subject of the Reich, Norway is now under a direct occupation. Norway can be prepared for German integration as their first steps towards Aryanship. Cool! But regardless, we're going to end our episode right there. Hopefully tomorrow there will not be another update which ruins the campaign, because we've gotten pretty darn far. But hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you all tomorrow. 
as we shall expand Goring's reach and rule. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.